I mean, I, I gotta take it. I won too much. I gotta get out of here before oh, so. <laughs> Time to clock in. Right, so you can't have him anymore. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> incredible. <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Ah! Ah! Nice. You fucking punch me in the eye, dude. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. I brought Broly Blue up here tonight because I wanted you guys to know that he's still alive, he's still kicking, he's still doing well. Also, I brought him up here because someone has been making unauthorized purchases at Chewy.com on my fucking chase card, and I need you to stop. <laughs> Was it fucking you? Did you? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Shut up! Back in Los Angeles, Aiden doesn't live here anymore. Banks is like a fucking hermit crab. I have two fucking days to shoot this. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how it's gonna play out. I literally just stopped filming that intro that you just watched and I got a hit on the police scanner. Corinna Kopp is having a party right now. Also, I do want to quickly say shout out to us for shooting the night shift at night. I hit up George. I'm like, yo, George, I'm going to Corinna Kopp's house for a second. He was like, bro, I am so fucking high right now because it's Monday night. Oh, he's got an aggressive dog. Did you use my card at Chewy.com? Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Did you use my card at Chewy.com? George? <laughs> He goes, hey, hey, what were you smoking on? Uh, well, you know, not crack, dude. All right. <laughs> I've never worn these shoes today, and it's we're going on an adventure. I think maybe it's a special occasion. What are they? Self-lacing shoes? Oh, you have to charge them. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. That have makes them. sense. Well, okay, let's see if these ones work. They're both dead, Mike. <laughs> I think she keeps people. telling me how many people are here, but I didn't come here to well, party. I came. It's not a party. No, so I tried to get. Tattoo my name on his body for seven thousand dollars, and I try to get my ex-boyfriend to get Kerna's property tattooed on my body. Who's your actual Logan here? <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. All right, guys, over the past couple years, studies have shown that over 86% of Americans would like to make money off being a creator or internet influencer. Well, to do so, of course, you need talent and a hard work ethic, but you also need a specific set of skills to bring it all together. Well, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, or just get lost in creativity. Skillshare has classes on everything from DSLR photography to the basics of Photoshop to intensive classes on how to build your brand. So I took this class called How to Take Pro Photos on Your iPhone and the instructor Dale McManus taught me how to add more depth to my photos using just my iPhone. Plus, Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new classes so you can stay focused and follow your creativity wherever it leads you. So listen up guys, Skillshare is giving me a special offer to extend to you today. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to sign up at the link in the description below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So go ahead and check out that link in the description below so you can start exploring a new passion in your life today. And let's get back to the night shift, baby. You got a tattoo? It's actually a German, uh, it's okay. marked over okay. I can see right here. Which is where David, hands off the merch. Wait, it says, this wow. is the zip code of the place in Germany that like I kind of grew up. Hamburg? Oh. Did you, she grew up in Dusseldorf, I think. No. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, Corinna said it's not a party. This girl has a fucking lit up sign of her name. What the fuck is our party's gonna have? Like, <laughs> what are they <laughs> <laughs> He's really high, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody offers you $5,000, they bet on four numbers. If those numbers hit, you have to get a tattoo of my name. No shot. Why? Why are you taking my fucking thing that I did with all the other people I'm here? I'm just saying, what are you doing? Y'all fight asking. like a married couple. Yo, I want to get, I want to showdown versus Dobrik. Do you have cash? Yeah. I want a gambling showdown against you. On simple card games like war. I don't know oh, war. I mean, bro, I only have a thousand bucks. I just had pocket money. Okay, I, okay. Pocket money. <laughs> Change is like seven or eight dollars. Like I, I got pocket. I got seven bucks. You choose one car. I choose the other. Can I make it juicier? I'll put an extra five hundred dollars in on green. That is the dumbest bet I've ever heard in my. Did you hear life. the bet she made before? Yeah. Well, the reason I have this cash, she bet on five numbers, and she's like, if I hit any of the five numbers, you have to get a tattoo of my name on your leg, and if you hit any of the thirty-one other numbers, um, I'll give you seven grand. <laughs> she did it with me, and then she lost to Todd seven thousand dollars to Todd. How too. much did you lose total? Fourteen. 
thousand five hundred. Oh, that's good, Karina. I made that yesterday. I don't give a fuck. She, what did she make yesterday? She made it thirty minutes ago. Off a couple of paid opens <laughs> over on OF. Okay, this is uh nine hundred and twenty. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little yeah, bit short. Sure. He's a little short. Eleven hit three times in a row. I put it all on red, dude. You also wash your shirt with a red shirt. Dude, I'm not. Gonna <laughs> okay. I found it in the trunk of my fucking car. Five hundred on green for Karina. Good luck, dumbass. No. And then I'll do a thousand bucks on. Red, don't yeah. Red. Yeah. Oh. Every time I bet black, I lose every time. There you go, round, round, round we go. Where we stop? Come on. Nobody knows. Shit. All right, David, show the fucking wheel. No, no. Show the wheel. Please. Yeah. Oh. Win. I'm the most unlucky fucking person. Dude, Dobrik's right, cleaning up tonight, bro. Yeah, that was really great. I mean, I, I gotta take it. I won too much. I gotta get out of here before so. <laughs> now that you have no more money, you wanna drop me off back home? Oh. <laughs> Well, I just haven't been very lucky lately. I guess if you're gonna lose money to someone, you lose money to America's sweetheart, David Dobrik. Is he still America's sweetheart? I don't think so, man. I was thinking about checking in on Summer. We haven't seen Summer in a long time. Summer? Summer, it's golden hour. Your skin looks great. Why are you dressed with a rug over your head? No, because I'm ugly and I don't want to do this right now. I don't think anyone watching the Night Shift episode right now would think that you were ugly. Yeah, because they can't see me. Did you make an unauthorized purchase on my credit card at Chewy.com? What's going on with you? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm ugly and sad. Why are you sad? Because I'm ugly. <laughs> Dude, you're really dark right now. I'm a little... You look like an Egyptian tourist. Like you're going to go fucking look at the Sphinx. <laughs> Summer, come on! Why does it matter? I see, look at me in your video. I'm even shaking ass. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. oh, we got what we needed. Let's go. Tom just pulled up. Look at this motherfucker, bro. We're just out here being American. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know if you guys have been seeing the news, but there's been a string of uh, armed robberies. They're just pulling up on anybody. LA's like a war zone right now. Also, might be a little high, also. <laughs> Burgers 99. Get the fuck off the phone! Don't you. Dare, I don't care. See those people over there watching us? See, like, what's popping? Dude, I got no jewelry, I got nothing. <laughs> oh. We got a special guest right now showing up. Don't show him yet. Someone you haven't seen in a long time. Mr. Ricky Banks, bro. How are you, dude? Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, we started a content house back in March. You may not have noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Double burger, regular ground chuck, raw onions, pickles, and special sauce. A grilled potato bun, buttery. Moved away from the smash burger for one episode. We had to do it. LA's all about smash. Fries are good. <laughs> Why's he got a picture of evil demon Josie on his sweatshirt? <laughs> what? Also, Banks's friend Tyson is here too. She will not be having a burger today. Because <laughs> when girls do reviews with us, they have to do glizzies. <laughs> <laughs> so I got you a plain glizzy. Here you go. Oh. Enjoy. <laughs> it's good to have you back on YouTube, baby. Right, Let's go. go. Three, two, one, go. It's clearly a juicy burger. It's got a lot of juice in there. You got no drinks? Yeah, oh, Bev, right Bev's are back there. If you're eating out there, you're ordering food, you better have Bev's with you. The oh. first thing you taste is the American cheese. There's a lot of cheese on it. This is the yeah, sauce. Really? It's like their, it's like their aioli sauce. It doesn't make me have any kind of like visceral crazy reaction. It's a, it's a good burger. This one is like the typical, you gotta chew through. Yeah, like it's, it's a hearty bouncy. burger. It's hearty, it's hearty, it's, it's, it's bouncy. He said about, what the fuck is that? Is this how it happens? Is this how it fucking happens? Let him, let him through, let him through. Move, move, move. <laughs> the fries are just like a thick cut, like potato-y fry. What's with the shenanigans, boys? You guys know this is serious business, right? You think you could just come over here and just giggle, laugh like that? Uh, talking about how Tom has autopilot. Sometimes he gets lost. That's probably the <laughs> lot, lot, lot of distractions say. I'm gonna just bop, bop in his. It tastes like the kind of burger that I would get after a Little League uh, baseball game at the little shack behind the Little League baseball better place. Better than that, it's better than that. But also, you don't know where I played Little League. My place could have had a fucking Bobby Flay as the chef, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I said, juicy burger, I like how the cheese tastes, the potato buns, very fresh, very good. 2021 war zone that is Los Angeles, I'm gonna give it a 7.6. Stop by, bring your fucking vest if you have one, and uh, make sure you know your surroundings. All right guys, things are about to get a little nostalgic right now, I just thought I should warn you. I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but. Hello, and welcome back to the Poets Corner. Now I know that sends shivers down some of your spines, but for those who just joined us, let me take back your minds. 
to a place that existed not too long, long ago when things were a bit stranger on this particular show. A fast paced video once a week for your pleasure. I'd say this has been a vlog channel for about as long as I can remember. But foreign cities, fat asses, and burgers be bussin' for some of you may not be the night shift you first were accustomed to. See, before the sponsors and ad deals and all the brand dollars, we clocked in to support employees and those with blue collars. Before the ratings on Wagyu and the roles that they rest upon, before Lana or Amara, depending on what channel you watch her on. Before flyouts and Range Rovers and fights inside rings, before Riley and Tiana and all of these beautiful things, before the best-selling book and these trips coast to coast, there was a sign made of paper and a boy with his toast. And while I think what we've done here has made the show 10 times better, sometimes I do miss the old fireplace and that dumb ass Gucci sweater. Lately I've been thinking I could buy my way into heaven, but I still have that soft spot for toilet time and those conversations with Evan. And like I said, I love the food and the girls and that random hodgepodge, but what I would do to have just one more night back in that garage. Before I get all mushy like the inside of some pierogies, just know I have a special place in my heart for all you night shift OGs. If there's one thing in life that's certain, it's that things are gonna change. And if you do it right, they get a little bit better every time they rearrange. So who knows where next year brings us? A TV show, a new podcast, or a book? Maybe I'll just quit it all and show up in your town with a completely different look. But as long as I have y'all, I'll always be rocking out. And I guess with that, thanks so much for working late with us. We are officially clocking out. You gotta get one glizzy gobble out. for the fucking night shift audience. A glizzy? <laughs> Wait, Corinna, put your green money out. I don't have my cash on me, but. Oh, here she goes. <laughs> Gotta wait for OF to pay out at the, on the 14th. I can withdraw at any moment. Yeah. I don't trust you, slime ball. <laughs> <laughs>